growing up with strict parents is really tricky especially if you're how do i say this black well using your phone in front of your mom ha huh. You are in the living room, sitting, chilling, you know, you're vibing, you're texting your friends, you're texting your girl some pics, maybe even taking selfies, right? And then your mom is just there looking at you. She looking at you, man. And then all of a sudden... I don't want peace. I want problems, always! Number three, eating breakfast, people. You know, there you are in the kitchen, right? You're putting some, you know, butter between your bread. Not bread between your butter, by the way. Dirty man. <laughs> Anyways, aside from that, you know, you're putting butter on your, your bread, right? And then, you you know, your mom or your dad walks in. And then you're like, yo, okay, this is how much you're using peanut butter in the house. Huh? This is how much you're using peanut butter. Look at all this. Um, uh, uh, look at this! He's using all this butter! This butter can be used to feed cows! <laughs> I might have exaggerated on that one though. This butter can be used to feed cows! <laughs> Number four, we all know it. Don't pretend. I see you. I see you. It happened to you, guys. It happened to you. Uh, mommy, can I, can I go and play at my friend's place? Friends? Uh, yes, Jeff's place. I just want to play there just a little bit. I'll be right back very soon. I'm coming now, now. I promise you. No, no, no. Ah, da, where are you go? Have you washed yeah, the plates? Yeah, yeah, Have... yeah. Can you go mop the village? Hurry up, hurry up. And last but not least, and also the least favorite discussion that I like about this life music. Okay, what's that listening? Huh? What's that music you're listening to? It sounds very noisy. What? What's that music you're listening to? Ah, oh, wait, well, change that song. You can't be listening to such music. Ah, what's this? What the fuck? Isn't it so? The real reason the music thing bothers me is because I really enjoy hip hop and it's like the parents of nowadays grew up in, you know, the old culture where they used to listen to more hopeful songs but I can't really blame them because hip hop of these days actually insists of a lot of terrible things, you know? Everything that hip hop teaches about is pretty wrong if you ask me. Of course, yeah, these niggas are maybe doing uh, hip hop based on gospel and all that but it's not about the gospel. Okay, don't get me wrong here. I'm not talking even about hip-hop. I'm just saying how much it hurts me that they would, you know, downgrade hip-hop. It all came down to the conclusion that they're my parents and they love me and they only want the best for me. And stuff they saw will seem to be a threat to them because in the old times it wasn't there. To them it's a new thing. So if they see it on you and they see it on other bad people, it means they think that you might turn bad along with them. You feel me? So, in conjunction with that, everything that we do in this day and age, everything that we do, everything we perceive, it brings out who we are and who it reflects who our parents are. You know what I'm saying? Because, look, look, don't get me wrong here. I'm saying be who you are, but you know, you need to give your parents that kind of self worth to say, they love you and they wouldn't want anything bad for you. That's why they do certain things. Because even for me, it really troubled me. I'm not saying that it phases me that they treat me. They treat me like that sometimes. You know, that's something personal, but I can mention it because I know it happens to you too. If it doesn't, it just means we're from, you know, different times times in our lives. But I know this video will reach somebody who, who, who has the same troubles. You know what I'm saying? If your parents sound like they are bothering you to be honest with you they're not they're just trying to instill a little self-worth and value into you i will maybe not listen to my own advice but anyways you take it man it's the only advice i can ever give you if it's even advice what am i talking about again in conclusion listen to your parents man they mean well for you Thank you so much for watching this video to the end guys. Make sure to hit that subscribe button right there to show your love for this channel. Make sure you, you know, click the like button. You know, this like button matters too. You know, just click it right there, right there. You know what I'm saying? So, thanks so much for giving me so much love guys. Thank you for... <laughs> See you in the next video, man. It might shock you a little bit. Christmas is a favorite holiday of many.
apart from me. You, you want to know why? Everything about it makes no freaking sense to me. I mean, let's start with Santa Claus. Look at Santa Claus, people. What is he? He's some kind of middle-aged man who flies around in a bucket which is strapped to what appears to be reindeer or giving stuff out for free to random people at night. This fact alone made me come to the conclusion that it's either Santa Claus is a wizard or the people who came up with the whole Santa Claus thing are crackheads. And if you're old enough to watch this video and you still believe in Santa Claus, I'd like to ask you one question. Hey, how much are diapers, bro? I mean, how much are they? And if I was to surprise you with a pack of diapers as a Christmas present, what that size was a holiday you... season around the time we closed schools, which means I had no choice but to stay alone. Bored at home with my thoughts, jerking the life out of my grilled chicken. We'll go with grilled chicken. But of course, that's...